how are you welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I actually uploaded anything and I am so sorry for that I actually recorded this here March 5th to the 11th and I did not post it but I will be posting that on Thursday um, as a sped up video I'm a little behind I've been busy and I didn't have time to actually plan out my week but I still put down my pre-planning notes always at least and yeah so I wanted to do this week here which just passed which was March 12th to the 18th which Saturday was St. Patrick's Day and I wanted to use this kit here from the planner shack this is her St. Patrick's Day um, kit but I actually modified this kit I think it was like a four page kit but some of the stuff I don't use so I don't want to waste paper so I learned how to actually modify so I've been modifying my printable kits and yeah this is what I came out with for the sheets that I would need so I actually have some Happy Mail, which I did not haul yet. So this is gold header foil from the Sticky Sloth Designs. And I haven't actually hauled her, um, well, my order from her, but I wanted to use this and this spread. And I actually wanted to use some of these gold um, icons here that I got from this which is all the same sheets but I got these from Michaels and I wanted to incorporate a lot of the gold foils from there and I also wanted to use this gold foil floral um, washi as well so yeah that's what I have in mind so if you want to see what I do with this spread, please go ahead and continue to watch. So what I always do is just put down the bones of the kit. So basically the full boxes. I'm going to actually use these full heart check boxes because um, I didn't think I liked the little ones or I just wanted to use them. I'm not too sure. I don't remember because um, I printed out this kit a while ago. So... I'm going to use these two, of course, and I'm going to put down a glitter washi, but I'm not actually using the gold glitter. I'm going to use the pink and the green, and in place of the gold washi, I am going to use the headers, the foil headers on the actual full boxes, on top of the full boxes. And then I want to also use the date covers. I don't have any foil date dots, but I do have some coming in. And, oh, do I? I think I do. I do. These are from the Tassel Planner. So I'm going to use those as well for here. So that is it for the foiling. So I'm definitely going to use those. And I'm going to put down my bottom washi. And I am also going to do, which I haven't done in a while, um, my weekend banner but with flags. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back.
This is how she turned out. I think it looks gorgeous. I am in love with the foil headers. So pretty. So pretty. And I love that I incorporated this um, floral gold foil washi as well. I think it turned out really nice. I love my weekend banners. I haven't done that in so long and I actually missed it. So yeah, this is turning out really, really pretty. So now that everything's there, let's just go ahead and do day by day. Um, so I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. So I'm gonna start up here and this is a project that I needed to do and get done. So, um, I'm going to use this at symbol for that. So I'm going to put it right here, this corner. I should have put it here. I should have put it here. Hmm. Maybe I should just hold on to it first and then write down my plans. I'm going to use this Friction um, by Pilot and point zero five. There are three pages that I needed to get done. So I'm going to put that right here on the side for that. And sorry I'm turning it sideways, but that's the only way I can actually write in it. And after that, really nothing much. So I really didn't need to put all of these, but like I said, I just wanted to use them because of how they looked. I'm going to pull one of these out from Temple of Craft. And I think I'm going to use one of the pink ones or a green one. Hmm. I'm going to use a green one. Why not? And I'm going to cover this hearts here. And then moving on from that. I didn't do much, but I did have some me time. I went to get a pedicure done, and oh my goodness. <sighs> Let me see. Do I have any me time? Yeah, I have a me time sticker here. And... I'm going to actually... I'm going to put it on one of these stitch labels. There we go. And that is for a petty that I had done. And I don't like how that came out, so let me just write that better. Binge on YouTube. So I know they have a TV here, but I need a laptop. So I'm going to take this, so I'm going to put it on this side. YouTube binge. Okay, so that's on my Monday. And let's move on to Tuesday. Tuesday was an actual storm <laughs> that hit us, another nor'eastern, and there was no school. So... That's the first thing I'm going to put here. And I'm going to use one of these from Ruby Red Iris Prints. And I want the actual building. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these little flags here. And I'm going to put it this way. And I'm going to put the no school right next to it. Basically, I did nothing but design all day so I am going to take this green appointment label no because it looks like the flag that I just put down so maybe not I'm going to just take one of these half boxes here with the cute bow in it 
I'm obsessed with cute which is no longer a shop but I have the printable files so I will keep using them and they're so freaking cute I love them so I'm just gonna put it right here to signify that I just designed and then for my to-do list I had to um, finish my project and I think that's that and I'm going to put the adulting sticker on top of it because I needed to get this done so I put that like that which looks cute so that's it for Tuesday for Wednesday oh my goodness let me tell you what happened to me at the petty I got my pedicure done where I get um, my nails done and my nail tech's mom is the one who does the pedicure and she's such a sweetheart but she really doesn't understand English that great and I mentioned to her that I'm allergic to coconut, so to not use coconut, hold on, my hands are so dry. So I mentioned to her that I am allergic to coconut, but I think she didn't understand me. Well, I know she didn't understand me because she had put something on my legs that took two days. So it's Monday, two days to actually hit me hard. And, um... I had a massive rash on my legs. I tried Benadryl. I tried so many things and nothing, nothing took the itchiness away. But it started like the night before. But on Wednesday morning, it was full blown everywhere. It was like a 10. Okay. And I still had a function like that. So I just wanted to mark that down with an appointment label I don't know what I will use for that though I should just write on it first I don't know what to actually use to use as an icon for that okay so I don't know what to use for that I'll probably think of something So I'm just leave that like that and for my to do's grocery shopping so yeah unfortunately that is it for Wednesday it was just too busy with my itchiness I want to switch this I'm going to actually take that out I don't know what I want to put for that. I really want to put something down, but I don't know what, though. So, yeah, I'm going to just write it on one of these labels and put it here. And, unfortunately, that is it for Wednesday. So, let's go ahead and move on to Thursday. Thursday, my rash was worse, completely worse. It was red. It was hot to touch. It was, like, really, 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 really bad. But I had took a Benadryl and um, stood home and just slept. Because the night before, I did not sleep at all. So I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to use one of these. Not this one. It has a pain, but not for headaches. I want to use this one here. This is from Sticky Acorn. Um, like in pain, even though it's for headaches, but I'm going to use it anyway to signify that. So, I found a sticker that I wanted for it. So, I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, I slammed that down. I am going to put down that I had Benadryl, and I just slept 
and I am going to put this um, sleep in. I'm going to use, should I use the black one or should I use the pink one? I'll use the pink one, it matches more. And again, this is from Paper and Gumption, in case I didn't mention it earlier. There's my tweezers. Yeah, it's left from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So, yeah. After I got my son, I actually, I called the doctor and my PCP said just to come in so you don't have to sleep another restless night. So I went in to see him. So I'm going to put this appointment label down. Right there. And I'm going to use uh, this nursing cap. For there. I had my insurance bill due. So I know she has bill dues here so i'm going to use this one i'm going to try to cover these two no it doesn't cover so i'm going to just use the bottom portion then so then up here in the morning my daughter had a driving lesson on this day and on friday and on saturday was her road test so my driving was at 8 in the morning this day. Yeah, because she was on spring break all this week, which I should mention that. And I'm going to put it back here, but I'll go back to that. So, my rash itchy number was out of 10. It was horrible. It was horrible. And I think that is it. That is it for Thursday. Ghost Cheater, if you hear him in the background, he's happy. Um, so for Friday, I had a parent-teacher conference, and it was a early release. And I am going to take the pink version of this, which is from my planner Envy. And I am going to put up here... Zach had an early release and I also have a parent teacher conference to get his report card and I'm going to use one of these from Sticketeers um, for that I'm going to take the green apple to keep with the theme of green and I am going to use I'm going to use this half box here. And I'm so proud of my baby boy. He has A's and B's. Nothing lower. So proud of him. And let me see what else I have for Friday. Friday. Um, my daughter had another driving session and that was for 1.30. That was it. So I want to cover this. I went with the girls and their cousin that she came. I'm going to put it right here. She was on spring break herself, which she will be graduating in May. We draw, I'm so proud of that one too because she is graduating with her bachelor in forensic science, I think. She wanted to go and have sushi with us. And so she actually came by and we all went together. Oh. I used to actually take care of her. Um, when she was a baby for her mom. <laughs> okay, so for that, I have some sushi stickers, of course. And these are from Fabulously Planned. 
and I want to use should I the soy sauce and the wasabi yeah Let's see how I'm gonna put that down like that I think that looks so cute so so cute okay and I think that was it for Friday that I wanted to denote. I left that one open unless I remember something that I did not write down. So I could just put it there. Okay, so now for Saturday. Saturday was St. Patrick's Day. I don't celebrate it, but um, I don't even drink beer. So <laughs> I still want to denote it. And I still wanted to use this pretty kit. I like using theme kits for holidays. So, yeah. I want to put this here, but I don't know if I should put it in a half box. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. There's some sticky stuff on my planner. I have no idea what it is. So this day she had her road test, Kalani, and she passed it. Look at the Irish lucky day she passed her driving um road test and she got her license yay yeah they got their license late my daughters both of them late in life i got mine really early like once i turned 19 i was like determined and yeah both my daughters got it in their 20s so hopefully my son will probably get it at 16 because he's not going to wait he said like they did so i want to denote that because I am proud of her for that and I don't know what to oh I got a gold heart here okay so I am going to use this label she was very very nervous but she passed so that's all that matters right right so I got this gold foil heart right here and I'm going to put it right there next to it. It's crooked. Of course it is. I can tell it's crooked. And after that, I did nothing. They went out with their cousin um, to the outlets and mall and just have a good old time, both of the girls with her. I just stood home. My son stood over his cousin's house. So he doesn't really stay over that much, but when he does, I like to always have it denoted. One of these. Um, even though they say sleep in. But I could use the black one. And I don't know if I have room. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to use I'm hoping that looks okay yeah that's good enough I'm going to put Zach and Gio because his, his cousin's name is Giovanni so at least I know that he stood over Gio house then so now I could just go ahead and move this back down okay and I just remember what I had on Friday that I needed to do which was some research and I got these research uh, magnifying glass from paper and gumption and they're really cute so I had to do some research and also here these two days I forgot a bunch of stickers and I need to go back but anyway moving forward we'll go back after Sunday so let's start with Sunday Sunday um, was a busy day for me I actually had to print and cut some of the stickers that I designed and I'm gonna use these um, this I guess it's a cameo but I have a, a portrait but these are so cute and this printer here from HT Planning. I got these from Sonia. She gifted them to me. And she also gifted this um, kit as well. 
So, uh, thank you, Sonia. I always do appreciate you. So, I am going to put them down. And I don't know why I'm not checking anything off. <laughs> Okay, so after that, um, I just was binge watching YouTube again, and where is that? Okay, right here. I was going to use this, but it's way too big. I mean, these icons here are so big, so... Yeah, that's why I haven't used it. But I want to use this planner, though, for some other time. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here and right next to it like we did before. YouTube bench. And that's about it. That is my week. And I'm going to go back because I forgot some stuff. Like Tuesday night, I threw make sure I have the garbage out for Wednesday morning and I'm gonna check everything off but I didn't okay that was that that I missed and I also missed cleaning my desk and that was the 14 this is such a cute sticker this is also from paper and gumption and what else did I miss? I miss that I went to pick up right here. No, where was my appointment? Here, I had to pick up. Okay, I had to pick up my meds because I was prescribed prednisone. Was it prednisone? Let me see if I could pick the sticker up. I was prescribed prednisone for the itch because I told them the Benadryl wasn't working and then my eczema went along with it as well and if my eczema cream which he said to me had steroids and if that didn't work then I would need stronger steroids and I can say I've been taking it at night like he said and it is working but I don't like the greens so yeah so he prescribed me um prednisone to take and like a step down like take three then two then one like that so i am on my fourth day i need three more days to go and yeah it's actually working but it's still itchy and it's still red and it's still there so yeah um also i wanted to put down if I could find it was this I wanted to put lazy day here for me because I did nothing and I'm just gonna put it right on top of here for Saturday and this is from design sticker store so yeah Okay, so for the sidebar, I wanted to put this down um, from Planet Southern. I'm going to use the darker green. Yeah, the darker green. And I did all these days. And then here, I am going to write down my wake-up numbers. And I just noticed something that if you eat mango at night, even if it's frozen, because I buy frozen mangoes, and I eat it at night before I go to bed, and I wake up with my sugar levels lower than if I wouldn't. So I even tested it out this week, and you can tell by the numbers that the days that I didn't eat, I woke up really, really high. And then when I started eating it again, it was really, really low and it was worth it. So I keep on with, what was it? It was 60. And I'm going to keep up with um, the mangoes because it's bringing my numbers really, really down. 
So it's just a tip in case anyone else is struggling with keeping their diabetes in check. Okay, so I think that is it. I want to cover some of that space there with the washi. I wanted to put a saying here, but I have to look for one and then I'll put it. But let's just go ahead and show you what's left of the kit. So I have just a few of those, really not much on that page. I have all of these because they're, like I said, they were a little bit too big. I wanted to put down that my daughter was on spring break and I forgot. So, um, I'm gonna put it under here because she started on Monday. Okay, so that's that. Again, I have all of those. They're a little bit too big. And then I have some of these, which I love this little bow box there. And I have a mess on this sheet when I was cutting. And then I have this here that's left as well. So as you can see, it's not much of the kit was used because I like pulling from um, my other st stickers that I have and this is just modified because this kit comes with a lot more but I didn't want to waste paper and I'm glad I didn't because I still didn't even use most of these so yeah I'm gonna actually just put family time so yeah that looks cute there and that's it I really don't have anything else so I really do love how it turned out with the headers and the gold foil let's see if I could make it sparkle there it is so yeah i really did enjoy this and i really am going to buckle down and get back on the ball and do my twice a week um uploads that i supposed to be doing so yeah if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber please go ahead and subscribe to my channel would love to make you a part of my youtube family it's growing and growing every day and yeah i'm excited for that as well we're almost at a thousand subscribers pretty soon i'm getting there not really really too close but i'm getting there and i cannot wait to reach that as well it's a milestone and yeah so I have nothing else to say besides I love each and every single one of you. Go ahead and take care of one another and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.